lead the King 5 statewide Survey USA poll in amongst the candidates running for president. Oh, is that right? Yes. I didn't know that. Um, you're, you're doing quite well in the state. You won the caucus four years ago. Why come back to Washington State at this point in time? Well, last I heard, the state of Washington has delegates to the Democratic National Convention. We're going to fight for every delegate we can get. You've got a lot of them, so we're here. We're proud to be here. Medicare for all is obviously something you've talked about quite a bit. Yep. Uh, the New York Times in the last 48 hours came out and said it's a liability for you, though, particularly in Nevada with the Culinary Workers Union there. Uh, what, what's your reaction to what you're hearing? Out well, of my reaction is that we have a cruel and dysfunctional health care system in which we are spending twice as much per person as the people of any other country, and yet 87 million of us are either uninsured, underinsured, 30,000 die each year. We pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. Half a million people go bankrupt. It is a system that is designed to make huge profits for the drug companies and the insurance companies. We need a system that guarantees health care to all people in a cost-effective way. That's what Medicare for All does. It will save the average worker in this country substantial sums of money. You know, we have a lot of people in this region that are employed by Amazon, and you've talked a lot about Amazon, and potentially if you were president, asking the Justice Department to break up that company. Do you still feel that well, way? Well, what I'm very proud of is uh, I have talked a lot about Amazon, and I'm very proud in working with Amazon employees to raise the minimum wage paid in Amazon to $15 an hour. And I'm very proud of the kind of support that we have from Amazon workers. Uh, I believe that what we are seeing in this country in many, many industries is um, increased concentration of ownership which creates a non-competitive type environment. So I think we're going to take a hard look at industry after industry and see what kind of monopolization exists. Jeff Bezos today just announced that he's going to pledge $10 billion for climate change. Good. Do you separate Jeff Bezos from the company Amazon? Well, Jeff Bezos is the wealthiest person in America. Amazon last year did not pay a nickel in federal income tax after making $11 billion in profit. And I'm glad that Mr. Bezos, as many of us are, is concerned about climate change. Uh, in my view, uh, climate change is an existential threat to the planet, and I'm glad that Bezos intends to help us. But I will tell you that as President of the United States, we will make climate change a major, major, major priority because the future of the planet is at stake. We've got to take on the fossil fuel industry. We've got to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. We have to do what the scientists tell us we have to do. So to me, this is a major issue. We're fighting for the future of the planet. That's the leadership role I'll play. A lot of people also employed by Boeing or companies that are associated with Boeing. Uh, a while back, you talked about uh, potentially the Sherman Antitrust Act and taking CEOs like the Boeing CEO to court. Do you, do you feel, based on what happened with the 737 MAX, that... Look, what we have got to do is take a hard look at antitrust activity. And the truth is that for many, many years, under Republican leaders and Democratic leaders, we have allowed in, incredibly uh, industry, one industry after another, to have incredible concentration of ownership. And I think that's bad for our economy, it's bad for consumers, it's bad for the American people. So we will take a hard look uh, at the need for antitrust activity. Mike Bloomberg, who, as you know, is also running for the Democratic I've heard that. nomination. Yeah. You've heard that? Yeah. Uh, he came out today with a, a post talking about Bernie bros yeah. and, and warning about the discourse. Any response to what Mike Bloomberg had to say today? Yeah. Well, my response to Mike Bloomberg is that he has every right in the world to run for president of the United States. He does not have a right to buy the presidency. That is not what democracy is supposed to be about. And if you think some of the discourse that allegedly is coming from people who support me. And let me be very clear. Anyone who says that they are supporting me, who is saying terrible things about anybody else, is not really supporting me. I don't want their support. But you know, the internet, as you well know, is a kind of a wild west out there. And people can be saying all kinds of things, and they say, oh, well, I support Bernie Sanders, or I support Mike Bloomberg. Not necessarily true. Uh, but let me be very clear. I do not want our supporters, I want our supporters to argue the issues. I do not want to see a horrific personal attacks against anybody. Last question. There's been a lot written in the last week about your wins in Iowa and New Hampshire and the other candidates that are out there that may be more moderate versus progressive. And the, and the 
potential for a contested convention. Are you preparing at all right now for a contested no, convention? No, we're here in Washington and we've been running all over this country. Just came from California. Our intention is to do everything we can to win this on the first ballot. Look, at the end of the day, what the American people understand is there's something fundamentally wrong when so few, like Mr. Bloomberg, have so much while half of our people are living paycheck to paycheck, while we are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people while our kids cannot afford to go to college. We need an economy, we need a government that works for all, not just the 1%, not just wealthy campaign contributors. That's what this campaign is about, and I believe that will be a message that will win us uh, the nomination and defeat the most dangerous president in modern American history, Donald Trump. Senator Sanders, thank you. Thank you very much.